Michigan quarterback Brandon Peters left Saturday's game against Wisconsin's No. 5 with a potential head injury. Peters left in the third quarter after a hard hit by Badger linebacker Andrew Van Ginkle. Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh said Peters was being examined for head problems at a hospital after the 24-10 loss at Camp Randall Stadium, and that Peters is expected to return home with a team the night of the game. Saturday. He will find us on the plane, so we will have a better idea of his condition when we see him. Van Ginkle and other defenders from Wisconsin begin to greet the athletic trainers while Peters lay on the ground immediately after the hit. Peters seemed to hit the grass with his shoulder and then with his head when Van Ginkle pushed him to the ground after Peters threw a third pass that fell incomplete. He left the field in a car after taking several minutes to sit down. Peters scored 9 of 18 passes for 157 yards before leaving the game. He was about to throw a touchdown pass to rookie Donovan Peoples-Jones in the first half. The referees reviewed the play and finally decided that the pass was not caught in the limits. Fifth senior year John Okern, who started several games for the Wolverines last month, took over the center in the fourth quarter. Okern completed two of his eight attempts for 19 yards in a failed return bid. It is still unclear who will play as Michigan quarterback in his regular season finale against his rival Ohio State next Saturday. Redshirt junior Wilton Spate, the initial starter of the season, practiced last week but stayed out of touch. Spate has not played since the end of September, when he hurt his neck when he was hit by a defender against Purdue. Harbaugh said last week that he did not know if Spate would be healthy enough to return this season, but he did not rule out the possibility. 